Hello people, this is Insta question number 5. The main purpose of performing a throat culture is to detect the presence of A. Neisseria meningitis B. Staphylococcus aureus C. Streptococcus pneumoniae and D. Streptococcus pyogenes Okay, so this will bring us to the question Throat culture is most commonly performed for the sake of infections that can attack your throat that is pharynx. So any organism who is capable of causing pharyngitis consistently would be the most common answer for this kind of questions. Neisseria meningitis is not an organism known for causing pharyngitis. The questions and the option has been very close. Here, gonococcus would have been the closest answer because gonococcus can easily cause pharyngitis and sore throat. So we will not be culturing it for Neisseria meningococcus. We may culture for Neisseria gonococcus. Staphylococcus aureus as such is not an organism known for causing pharyngitis. Though it is very well capable of causing pharyngitis, it is not consistently known for causing pharyngitis. And so I will not be doing it for Staphylococcus aureus. Streptococcus pneumoniae is known for causing orbital cellulitis. You will be having otitis media and also it can cause pneumonia with some kind of keratitis. But Streptococcus pneumoniae is not known for causing pharyngitis, while Streptococcus pyogenes can attack two parts of your body. One is your skin, the second is your pharynx. And they are referred to as dermatological strains and pharyngitis causing strains. And these two kinds of strains can go for secondary immune response, which are delayed antibody mediated responses. Here, the one other organism that you can think of when I speak about throat culture would be coronary bacterium diphtheriae or diphtheroid organisms. So two first group of organisms you have to think of when you are performing a throat culture to detect the presence of organisms. The answer would be streptococcus pyogenes and coronary bacterium diphtheriae. While streptococcus pyogenes can cause pyogenic pharyngitis, diphtheriae is known for causing membranous pharyngitis and that would make all the difference. Here in case of streptococcus pyogenes, still penicillin is a wonderful choice. But before choosing your antibiotic, please go for warm saline gargle and that should be a very strong kind of gargle. The first thing you do in the morning and the last thing you do in the night, that is a wonderful way of dealing with the organism. Then we can try attacking the organism using penicillin or erythromycin. The same in case of cornibacin diphtheria, you can go for erythromycin group of drugs which can be inhibitors of protein synthesis. Thank you very much.